Good morning everyone, I'm Jesse with Green Chick Gardens. Today we're going to do a little bit of a shorter video. It's just an update on our Spirit of Sancti. We've been doing a bit of an experiment on with different soils, uh, different substrates. We were using uh, Pond, Stratum, Leca, and also just my Aeroid mix. I wouldn't say this experiment's done. I want to let it go on for a little bit longer and see if we can get different growth rates out of each substrate. But so far, I think we've got a little bit of an idea of what's going on. So I just thought I would show you guys. Let's check it out. All right, first I wanna say I kept all of these in the same container with the same water in them. Uh, besides the Aeroid mix, that one was not uh, sitting in water, obviously. Um, I also used my fertilizer mix, which I've shared in another video. I used it twice, I believe, on these. Um, so they were all getting fertilizer and they were all getting close to the equal amounts of fertilizer. I know in the Lechuza Pond, it comes with fertilizer. Thought I could offset that a little bit by just providing fertilizer to all of them. Um, so that I hoped to eliminate a little bit of a variable there. Another thing I'd like to mention is it was much easier for me to keep the uh, humidity and moisture levels on our Spirit of Sancti uh, adequate when they were in the semi-hydro mix compared to the potting soil mix. I still let that stuff dry out just a bit too much almost every single time. So that probably stunts the growth, but that's also part of the experiment. And I would say it's easier to maintain a semi-hydro uh, plant than it is a aeroid mix plant as you just have to monitor the moisture levels of them a bit more. Um, as with the semi-hydro, I pretty much poured a little bit of extra water in every week or so, depending on the water level. And I'd leave it alone for a week come back the next week and raise it back up a little bit. So very easy to maintain compared to the uh, compared to the soil mix that uh, you have to keep a little bit of a better eye on. So I'm gonna show a couple of the video clips from you know three months ago when we first planted these. And so you can kind of see the size of them. And um, remember, we took one larger and one smaller for each pot. Uh, just because that's how our plants kind of ended up there. And uh, so that's what we got three months later. And this is what we've got. So they've definitely put on some growth. And you're starting to see that Spirit of Sancti form there. And I don't know if you can really tell. It's going to be hard to give you an adequate view. But uh, just out of my perspective i'm kind of gonna go through each one and uh i guess i'm gonna rank these for you all right so we're gonna go from the worst growth to the best growth uh during this three month time period this is in my perspective i think it's pretty visible to see first place and last place and then the second and third place i think are pretty much tied um and like i said we're gonna keep this experiment going for a little bit longer and maybe that'll kind of uh, separate some from the bunch but in last place or the worst slowest growth we had is the aeroid mix and these are pretty small still i'd say we put on <clears throat> two leaves i would say in that three month time span and you can still you're just now starting to get some of that actual spirit of sancti elongated leaf form but two leaves and still pretty small this was easily the worst of the bunch. Like I said, I know that the watering probably had something to do with that, but that's the worst one. And I can clearly tell you that that's the worst one. So the second worst one, or in third place, we should say, is going to be Leca. Leca has a bit better growth, larger leaves already coming out. And we have two and a half this one has three leaves that have came out since um, we first repotted it into Leca. This one has two and it's on its third, but a beautiful leaf coming out right there. And the roots are starting to come out of the bottom of this pot a bit. And uh, it did well. Uh, I'm happy with the Leca. 
This has changed my mind a bit about what I'm using here in the greenhouse, but the LECA did well. I'm gonna call it uh, third place though. So let's go on to second. So we've went through the Aeroid mix. We went through LECA. Uh, the only two we have left here are the Lechuza Pond and the Fluval Stratum. I think most of us thought that this was gonna be uh, the two that would probably be in first place. I thought LECA would perform a little bit better, honestly, uh, than it did. But let's go ahead and get the Fluval Stratum out for second place. This one has much bigger leaves. Look at the difference between this and this. And these were virtually the exact same size, uh, exact same root structure. I cleaned them off. They were transplanted at the same time. And look at the difference in that. I think that's pretty shocking. The other one is a, is a bit smaller, but still rather large. And uh, this is the fluval stratum. The roots are starting to grow out of the bottom again. You can see some root growth here on the side. Um, but this is a, I mean, it's growing well. I'm, I'm impressed. I've started to use uh, stratum a lot more in my greenhouse, especially for starting cuttings and just smaller plants that need a little bit more babying. Um, it has been very useful and uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. I've been using it a lot. All right, so first place obviously is going to be the Lechuza Pond. And these are huge. Look at this one. This one's already grown so big it needs some support to uh, stand up. I mean, it's huge. And just comparison again to the little aeroid mix we got here. Look at the difference in size. That's wild. I mean, and these, like I said, these are the, ex we're the same exact size. I think this should show us. Semi hydro is pretty darn good. Uh, works pretty well. The other one is, you know, just as big, just as tall with just as large a leaves. Let's use upon easily is in first place to me here. And uh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. Now, I know we could say, well, it has fertilizer in it. Okay. But I've still been fertilizing all these other ones as well. So I tried to get rid of that uh, variable. So they've all been getting fertilizer. So I don't think that's necessarily it. I'm still kind of diving into why is this growing so well compared to others? I think the smaller particle size might hold a bit more moisture for our plants compared to say LECA. Um, but at the same time, the Lechuza Pond or excuse me, the stratum also has tiny particle size and uh, it just doesn't have the same growth. Maybe it holds too much moisture. Um, very interesting. I've been experimenting with putting pond and uh, stratum into the same mix and just using it to see what'll happen as well. But we'll see those in the future as well. But I just wanted to share with you guys the, uh, <clears throat> just the shocking growth really that these uh, Spirit of Sancti have had, I think it's quite wild for three months that we've came from virtually two, I mean, we've, we've gained three and a half leaves and they have sized up considerably, considerably compared to pretty much every other uh, substrate we used. So, I mean, as far as this goes, this experiment's not over. Obviously, this is only one experiment. Uh, it's not the end-all be-all, but uh, I mean, I think that's pretty promising results for the uh, pond. I know it's been hard to get pond lately. Uh, Amazon's been out like the last three times I've checked. Uh, so I've just been uh, using what I can uh, wisely, mainly on alocasias and stuff. That's our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the update on our Spirit of Sancti. I think we learned something from this here today. I truly do. Um, I think there is a clear visible difference between these plants. I mean, if you can't tell the difference between this and this, you know, I don't know what to tell you. But that's all I've got for you today, guys. Like and subscribe to Green Chick Gardens. Drop a comment below about anything here in the greenhouse. Um, anything maybe you thought interesting about our finds here. If you were right with your predictions. Uh, I'm Jesse with Green Chick Gardens. We'll see you next time. And I'm out.